tiki or brown teal used to be found throughout New Zealand, but sadly this is no longer the case. And while there is a stronghold population on Great Barrier Island, there is a mainland success story happening right here at Moiho at the north of the Coromandel Peninsula. The Moiha Patiki project was first born because the Okarito project had a pretty terrible year with um, a stoke plague and we were lucky enough to be uh, apportioned all the birds that were supposed to go to that project. The site was selected because it was already uh, part of a large area that was intensively managed for uh, kiwi protection. I currently trap an area that encompasses nearly 3,000 hectares of native bush and farmland. Um, this is also um, to protect kiwi as well, so we get a double layered effect there. Also we alter our farming management practices a wee bit and we have tried various different experiments to see what works and what encourages the teal into the farm environment. And currently here in Port Charles we'll actually have nearly 20% of the world's population due to the success of the, of the project. One of the main aims of getting involved with this conservation uh, project and others that we've got in, in the pipeline uh, is to give us uh, possibly uh, a point of difference for our products that we, we produce off the land. At some point in the future we might need a, a point of difference to market our product. Um, so being involved in positive sustainable projects like this is, is going to hopefully assist with that. I believe that you can have uh, a business operation being run alongside conservation quite happily and both can uh, complement one another. Have you always had brown teal or pateki on your property? No, not really. There were about 50 to start off with and then in 2003 Doc released 23 pateki and now there are about 500, which is really great. We're trying to achieve self-sustainability so that they breed to cover their losses, basically, yep, and we've achieved that already, two years ahead of schedule. What is it about Pateki that you really love? They're just so cute. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're really small and they're really dark. They're, they're really pretty here yeah, and they have a definite personality. For the past five years, Pateki have settled into their new home at the top of the Coromandel Peninsula. Not only have they survived, but they have thrived in their new customised environment, so far exceeding all expectations. 